I'm I'm gonna talk about this in quite a jokey way, but I'm actually a little bit I'm a little bit riled, right? I'm a little bit like I'm getting there now. Um, so basically, I just found out <laughs> yet another one of my male friendships wasn't a friendship. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue, but then the pill changed the red pills to true. Forget the married life, I got better things to do. Stack money, travel the world. When you're getting it like that, you can pick out a girl. When you chase your own dreams, you can become a squirrel. As many as you want, straight hair or curl. Single ready to mingle, the sky's the limit. Welcome back to now the I Anthony Spade channel. Kind of Before I get started, the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and hit that like button. We are on the road to 200K. You guys are doing really good with hitting the like and the subscribe button. So all the new people, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. For everyone that's been here before, go ahead and hit that like button so I can get back into the algorithm. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, who is Anthony Spade? The link is in the description. All right, guys, we're in the woods. I'm out here with the dogs, walking around, and something just dawned on me. All right, made me want to make a video about this because I get a lot of this in the email. And this is kind of going to be like a good explanation as to what I'm saying. Uh, men can never give a woman a one size fit all for all women. If that makes sense, my grandma may be off a little bit. But what I'm saying is every woman is different. But their responses are the same whenever it comes to men. What do I mean by that? Women have multiple personalities. They're going to go through multiple personalities throughout the day. The same woman at 8 a.m. would not be the same woman at 1 p.m. Her moods will change. And most women can verify and tell you this. They moods change way more throughout the day than men. When it comes to men, we can pretty much keep the same mood every day, especially alpha males. We can always stay stern and not be affected by what's happening in life. Most beta males who have feminine traits are very moody, just like women. So your moods change all the time, which is why when it comes to a beta male and it comes to a woman, a woman always uses a beta male because it's kind of retaliation for him having feminine traits because women are very vicious whenever it comes to other women. If you think two guys that argue is bad, then you should see two girls that argue. And when two girls get in a fight, how much they're willing to cut below the belt. Why? Because of the feminine energy. So when it comes to a beta male, he has feminine energy that women relate to it by relating to another woman. So when a woman doesn't like you and you're a man with feminine energy, she's going to cut below the belt and she's not going to care about your feelings. Now, when it comes to the manosphere in this space that we're in, the reason why it's very important that you don't give a woman a one size fit all is because it'll loop your brain into a trend. What do I mean it'll loop your brain into a trend? All right, you'll find yourself arguing and debating men and women for the rest of your life, but not going anywhere. And the reason is for, is because you are not opening up your mind to the possibilities as to what can keep going on. All you guys have done is you found yourself a good mentor that could cater to your weak spots, that could cater to your shoulders of insecurity. In other words, the more a man talks the fault of a woman, the better it makes you feel. But the more you hear that, the more your brain and your neurological system starts to say, every single woman is like this because the person that's teaching you it, teaching you it is not teaching you from a diversified point of view. What do I mean by that? What I mean by is you have to learn the different styles of women and different personalities of women. And you have to sit back and wait for these women to make the same mistakes that all women make. All right. You have to understand men have certain traits that women are going to pick up on. But she's going to wait for these men to start showing her signs of the last guy before she reacts. Right. So in this process, when women come across guys from her learning, when women come across guys that she so-called says all men are the same, what she does is she sits back and wait for that guy to make the same mistakes all the other guys made. And then she's able to zoom in on it and take control over the situation and possibly take control over him. 
But the guy that she comes across that doesn't give off any of those vibes and doesn't do anything that the last five to 10 guys did, she's gonna automatically humble herself in order to study him more, in order to get him to react the same way the last guys did. So what you men must do is, when you first come across a woman, your brain has to be open-minded as to what is this woman's into? What have she been through? So you always wanna approach a woman on a friendly scale. Too many of you guys are approaching women with the intentions of liking them. And women could feel that because you don't have control over your desires. Why do women feel it? Women feel it because most guys, when they like a woman, they say the same thing over and over again. The rich guy, the middle class guy, and the poor guy, when, the, when them guys are desperate, they say the same thing to women. The only difference is most beta males with the money that are desperate tries to use that as leverage. Women start to study those traits, but when she comes across an alpha male that's not doing the same traits as him, that she falls in love with trying to find everything about him. But you guys, when you give a woman a one size fit all conclusion, you will always go the rest of your life confused. Why? Because you're gonna try to be too perfect. You're gonna try to have the best perfect conversation. You're gonna try to be very successful. You want to have a, a lot of accomplishments. You're gonna take, you're gonna devote your life to money and accomplishments, to clothes, to everything that can define and make you into the person that you do not feel inside. That's the only thing that materialistic lives are doing. And when you start status chasing is that you're working hard to portray an image that you do not naturally have. Take a beautiful girl and an ugly girl. An ugly girl makes herself look way prettier than a beautiful girl on surface. But when it's time to go home and it's time to take off the makeup, then you will always see the very pretty girl go all the way back to being ugly. It's the same thing with you guys. By the time you try to buy all this, but try to buy all this, um, what word am I looking for? Try to buy all this masculinity and try to buy all that status. Once a woman gets sick and tired of that, she's gonna always revert back to the true guy that you really is. You get what I'm saying? See, you can't pay a person to like you. You can only pay a person to use you. When you start giving off imagery of like success and you start going to the top, life is going to be lonely. So you have to be cautious of the people that are around you. But whenever you have a one all conclusion of women, you will only get frustrated when you don't get the results that you think you deserve with her. What do I mean? You start to learn pickup lines. Those don't work. You go out and buy the nicest cars in the world. Those don't work. You start treating her like she the best person in the world. Those don't work. You're trying to be Mr. Perfect because you have a one size fit all into thinking that there's only one way that women are gonna respond to things. And the more you do that, the more you're gonna be set back. In order for you to truly, truly, truly understand women, you must be prepared to take on different mindsets. You must be prepared to be a good actor. You must be prepared and you have to be fearless. A man who's scared to look at his own shadow won't have a woman. A man who's scared to take risks won't have a woman. And when I say won't have a woman, you may get a girl that you think likes you, but you just caught her whenever she was just at a down point of her life feeling lonely. Then when you give her back her confidence, she's out of here. The only way a man is going to truly keep a woman is when he's living a life that she can tag on to and he's fully prepared to let her go in order for him to pressure forward. See, women fall in love with guys that are not afraid to get rid of them. That's who they fall in love with. They fall in love with that guy that she knows like, all right, if I say something stupid to him, he going to another woman. If I do this, he's gone. That's the guy that she's going to fall in love with. We can easily say, get on your purpose, but guess what? It ain't meant for everybody to be rich. You either got it or you ain't. But one thing that you could do is, you can live in satisfaction when you're more open-minded to a woman's brain so you can make the better adjustments. When you're dealing with women, you have to learn to play chess and not checkers. But too many of you guys 
are trying to play poker and call her bluff. And that's where you're losing. All right. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you guys are able to get the message behind the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Say what's up to Blue and Blackjack. Blackjack! Uh, he's going to go run in the woods. Go ahead and hit that like button, man. Hasta la vista. He thought I was flirting. He thought that I was indicating some kind of sexual chemistry because I was nice to him. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be funny, I'm trying to laugh about it, but at this point, I actually, every time I make a joke, I'm going to be like, I'm not flirting with you, by the way. Because I, I don't know, I, like, I can be nice to someone and not want to sit on your penis. Like, I don't understand, I don't understand. Why are you trying to, like, objectify me all the time? I don't. Can I just be nice to a man without being interested in him? Is that okay? No? I'm done. I'm fuming. I'm so angry. I thought I had a friend. I thought I had